Hi, this is David. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Copilot to interact with Microsoft OneDrive. Here I've got my, I've signed into my OneDrive account on the web, and I'm going to go over to my files, and I've got a bunch of folders with some files in here, um, but I want to just select a this folder here under DNI, I've got a few things. This is, I used to do a lot of presentations and workshops around diversity and inclusion, so I've got some older ones here. There's this uh, one right here that my friend Laurent developed. It's a diversity and inclusion Lego serious play workshop. It's a Word document. This is instructions on how to lead a workshop like that. And then I also have another one down here. This is a different type of workshop. I don't remember who created this one, but this is a PowerPoint deck, and this is also for the facilitator, things that you should do to prepare f for that workshop. One is more hands-on, one is more discussion-led. And I can, if I want, one thing I can do is I can select, I can select just one or I can select both of them. And here under Copilot, I'll just say Summarize. And after a few seconds, I'll look at those files. I don't even have to open the files. And it'll give me a summary, summary of each of them. And that's pretty useful. Right here, took a second to format them afterwards. And I can ask more questions about that if I wanted to. Um, tell me more about, suggest some things. Can you summarize uh, right there? That might be a, a useful thing to just go into a little bit more detail because it was maybe I thought it was too high level. Or I could ask something more specific about what was in there. But I'll close that right now. And I'll show you that also under Copilot, I have the option of comparing these files. And I can compare up to five files. And again, without me having to open them, it will look at each file and it'll create a table like this, which will show me some of the differences. The different title, of course. Um, I guess I now know who created that one. I can fill a name, Justin. Uh, back when it was originally created, what's the purpose of each one? Um, and some information about it. who's the target audience, what's the methodologies, Gee, uh, what's the expected outcome and things like that. And again, I can ask follow-up questions and I can add more to that. So that's really nice right here. Uh, and these are, notice these are two different types of files. One is a Word document, one is a PowerPoint. So in format, they don't really have anything in common. The topic, diversity and inclusion, happens to be pretty similar. So I think they were a good thing to compare. Um, if I happen to have files that are of similar format, it'll give me even a more interesting comparison, and I do have that. I have a status report. For years, I've been sending out status reports to my manager or to my customer. Um, here's some old ones here. I don't want to show you new ones because that might reveal some secrets. Right here, I can open this one up and see that this is what my typical status report looks like because what I did the last week, I used to send them out every two weeks. Now I send them out weekly. What I'm going to do with the next upcoming weeks uh, and then after that and then any issues at all. Things like that. So um, I'll close this one here. And I still send out status reports. They still look more or less like this. So let me grab a, a few of these from 2015. I'll say click from March 13, March 27, April 10. Um, that's good enough for those three. And in these, I'll compare those files. And because they all have a similar format, they all say what happened the last two weeks, what's going to happen the next two weeks what's upcoming after that, and any issues, then I should get something a little bit better formatted and more easily digestible. And here he sits. So this is the past two weeks, next two weeks, upcoming issues and questions. You see on, in April I had no issues, but I want to know in these two weeks I want to know something about what's the process for buying supplies, and then these are the things that I, would, I had accomplished the week before. You would expect that the things that I was expecting to do in the next upcoming weeks showed up as the things that are in the next two weeks and so on. So very simple interface for analyzing files very quickly and comparing files and getting information about them without actually opening the files because Copilot integrates directly with Microsoft OneDrive. This is David. Thank you for watching.